Alrighty, Jund Midrange. Um, so this is another historic deck. No historic anthology four cards in it, but it's a pretty sweet deck. Um, basically a midrange shell. You have a bunch of removal, Blood Chief Thirst, Eliminate, Inscription of Ruin, Bone Crusher, Maelstrom. Uh, Vraska serves as removal. Um, and then you got some pretty effective creatures. You have Scavenging Ooze to eat away at the graveyards, gain you life. Chevelle gains you card advantage uh, whenever something dies with a particular counter on it. Um, Ruins can also attack the hand and reanimate stuff. Uh, you have Saruv, Realm Eater. So first time I'm playing with this card. Um, whenever a permanent opponent controls put in the graveyard, it gets a counter. At the beginning of your upkeep, you remove any number of those counters. Um, and you exile each non-land permanent with uh, CMC less. So it's kind of like pernicious deed. Um, the Vraska is a pretty useful card just to blow up a bunch of stuff. And then Eska's Chariot. Uh, Makes a lot of tokens, uh, and the way we're making tokens is also with Notvold Slumber Mound. Uh, that is a mouthful of words, um, but basically, six mana, blow up a land, you get a token. That's a four four troll with trample. You can make counter uh, copies with it. Uh, sideboards a whole bunch of useful removals, uh, cages, heartless axe, grasps. We have extinction events. Um, Davriel was something, so this list came, uh, I found it off MTG Arena Zone. Um, they had three Davriels, I'm guessing for the control matchup, but interesting card. We'll try it out. Uh, so this is another list with Jengantha where I'd want to see, you know what, I don't like Jengantha in here. I would rather play Chandra's. Chandra's so good. Everything's better. Uh, we can also play an Angrath. Okay. We good. So let's try to recoup some of our ladder run. See, this is a deck where if we run into angels, we're happy. A deck of just all removal is very effective. We're not trying to just play uh, wonky creature decks. How'd your uh, sealed run go yesterday, Rumpty? Get this going. Number 44, Ares. Let's see what they're on. Keep. Gruel aggro. Um, it's definitely a Clothis. Also, why are we not playing Clothis? We should definitely have Clothis. Okay, I gotta make a sideboard change after this game. The Roiling Vortex should be Clothis. Need to hit a land here. Sweet. Um, so they could on Crasher here. I imagine their turn is going to be play out the Kazool Mammoth. Uh, that coming into play taps a little annoying. I think we're just pulsing this. Getting in for four here. They could Coco here. The Chariot's pretty good. I can make some tokens. Ooze is also pretty nice. Mm. So I have a choice here. I think we're just Chariot. Meow. 
attack for four here. I think with the ooze, I'd rather wait till there's a bit more in the yard. Okay. Plus we can, depending on how they block with the chariot, kind of get them that way. So we'll go scavenging ooze here. Crew up. Make a copy here. Kill this, and then just eat something in their yard. Got him. Got him! Um, noxious Grass, Heartless Act, Abrades, Events. Um, Thoughtseize out for sure. Probably trim a couple Blood Chief. Do I want Chandra in this matchup over Vraska? I think we do a split. Inscription's not bad. This gives us a removal on one. Bone Crusher is a win condition. Are we going to go long enough? I think on the play we cut Balky. It's unlikely we go that long, where it's actually something we can pull out. Just try to kill everything. Do you think I like Chandra more than the Vraskas? Just run it like that. Might see Ferocidon out of them. We need to add Clothis post board. There's no reason the Davriels shouldn't be Clothis. what I kind of like about this list is you can pivot pretty aggressively from one variation to the other. Okay, it sounds a little land heavy, but that's a nice one to draw. Nice curve here. Probably going to lead. If they go very wide here, it's a bit annoying. Yeah. Chance they collected company. They went pretty wide here. If we draw Maelstrom Pulse, we are in business. It's a hell of a hand opponent had. Okay, so... I'm gonna block a burning tree here. An easy no block. Um, we are going to shock here. So we can Essica's Chariot, or I can Bone Crusher here. I think we're Essica's Chariotting. Surprised they didn't. Well, I guess that keeps them open to Embercleave. Hey. 
Can I three for one you? Wipe their board. Okay. That was pretty impressive. I will give them that. And what we get in our pack. The chair has actually been pretty impressive. Haunting Voyage, Unplayable Mythic. Let's correct the wrong that was not having Clothis. Um, I think we want one Clothis main. And one side. Do I want crippling fear or do we want anger? Anger hits our stuff. Cause crippling fear, I can name like wolf or something like stupid. Probably just more targeted removal. Just play noxious grasp. run this back Let's see if we could jump back up what's everybody in chat doing today oh shit Scott Howling Mines another content creator Play that tapped. So Scott, Howling Mines, hmm. what are you on? Can I take a look? Grixis. Um, prefer if you didn't have counter spells. Be nice. Valky's an easy kill here. He might be trying to hold it as well. So I kind of want them to play Valky first. So when I kill it, can take my scavenging ooze because I want to get to have a counter to play around the heartless act. Um, they know about this, so let's do this. No point of playing out the scavenging ooze now, it just dies to heartless act. What we can do is play around a copy here. They do have the brazen borrower. We are getting to the part where we can just blow up one of their lines. Getting that out of the way now is actually pretty beneficial. If he wants to pay two. Do this now. 
So we're protected. Need to get one of our stickier threats out. I'm getting to the part where I can do this for four. I think we're actually just doing this, getting him to discard. I want those Heartless Acts out of their hands. Heartless and release. That's fine. Let's see Brazy B. Probably is only playing one Brazen Borrower. Oh, yikes. No second blocks actually meaningful here. So we can blow up two lands, take them off red. So we have Vraska. Doesn't do much on this board, especially if that's a counter spell. I think we do this anyways. Try to draw into another black source here. That's fine. Mana base, little awkward right now. No Valky. Okay, black mana, black mana. Thank you. Got there. Got there. Green source? The hell's the green source for? Start eating away at their graveyard. I don't know what the green man is in there for. Could be Maelstrom Pulse. Wouldn't mind. Draw to reanimate. to be able to reanimate here. I guess I should have done something else. Deals 10 damage, draws two. Yeah, he's probably got it at this point. Oh yeah, that's true. Good call. Blow this up. Yikes, with Brazen. We didn't draw really any of our grid cards. The counter spells in this matchup are gonna be rough. Can't really afford to thought seize here. He can hit me for six this turn. 
probably dead. Okay, so we know at least two brazen borrowers. Just see what else they have in their deck. I'm Bone Crusher. Okay. So they're kind of on the adventure package here. Um, Thirst isn't bad. Eliminates. Are probably just better served as these heartless acts. Could probably trim a Vraska. So roof is fine. Probably get rid of the Chevelles. Thoughtseize is also fine. So they're doing a very similar game plan to us. Fine as well. We're probably going to see more negates out of them, maybe Aether Gusts. As a timely Nico Bolas. It's consideration to play like Binding. Problem is, they have a lot of land. It's the Brazen Borrowers that are actually a bit of an issue. Just resetting our counters. So we'll do this. Go Blooming Marsh into Valky. See what's going on. Give us some information to play around. Um, this is probably just Bone Crusher because the problem is Bone Crusher kills it. Fate Valky of their own here. Question here could force them to discard two, which is actually pretty good. We have another red source there. So I could have attacked, but if he called my bluff, then it's pretty bad because I have to pay the mana. We know there's minimum one, potentially two lands. This could get rid of the negate, could get rid of the saw coming. And then that lets me go, okay, they get rid of the counters, which is nice. Hit the removal. Not the best. That's great. This lets me get rid of Bolus. Get to do this. So the thing is, this always comes into play tapped, but it's probably fine. 
because I'd rather get that. This looks like it's going to be an attrition-based matchup. My turn next turn is probably killing this Bone Crusher Giant. Or not. New Pline. Hits me for four here. Literally the worst card we could have drawn. I think we're just doing this. Get rid of it. Negate. There's pretty bad. Let's see if we could just ride this Clothis. Got a lot of good draws. Chandra, Chariot. That's probably... Seen one saw coming. Just prioritizing these because they've shown that they can reanimate. Waiting for them to decide what they're going to keep and then I'll Heartless Act. <sighs> Didn't even give me a chance. That's super frustrating. We wanted to do that on their end step. Okay, so that buys us a turn. They get to cast it for free. Just get rid of Sock coming. So I can blow up a land here, take them off red. Or no. Red, red, green, green. So I th think we're actually just drawing a card this turn. We go to eight. Find a removal spell here. More lines doesn't do it. red mana here. I know they have the Heartless Act. But we have to try to uh, get some blockers in the way. Spell would be decent. Chandra. Literally not thought sees. Done a really good job of just drawing a lot of lands this game. Um, I mean, we gotta hope for the best here. It's 
fine. Guess doing that on upkeep sets them up behind. Wish we were at like two more life so I could have blocked Valky. Probably should have done it upkeep. So I can inscriptions. I can't do anything here. We're short of life here. I needed to do it on the upkeep. Let's act anyways. Yikes. That one was a little rough. The counter spells in that matchup really um, is what did us in. We'll run one more. See how this plays out. Was heartless act we would have would we have been alive no we were still down yeah hey dj frank willard doing well how about yourself no green mana here but we got some pretty versatile 76 percent okay we can't lose this game Angels. Um, I think here. Get rid of Righteous. Need a land. Need a land. How are you 76% with Angels? Can we get a land? One time, can we get a land? Jesus. Okay, well, taking one ball is not bad here. Can we get a land, please? Green land one time. Green land one time. It's going to be a collected company. Valky? Yeah, this card's really sweet. What have you been up to? Taking a break from magic or... Um, I think we're, we're going to go Saroof here. It's, this gets bigger for us. Oh, come on. They always hit company. Jeez. They got an angel here. dead here. We got greedy. Needed to take the righteous out. Oh, Clothis. Yeah. yeah. Extinction event, Noxious Grass, Heartless Act. Uh, Vraska can kill it no matter how big it is. Angrath's decent. Chariot's pretty... Actually, Bone Crusher's not that good. 
chariot's fine. Play an abrade. Actually, play a cage. A braid or cage? I think cage. Yeah, we missed our line. Like, that hand was fine. You kept two lands. You expect to draw into it. I should have Maelstrom pulsed. That Coco was like the best way for them. Alright, this hand's sweet. I could get Scavenging Ooze going. Pick off their small stuff. Yeah, Magic's been killing it really recently. The Clothis Full Art. Clothis is one of my favorite cards in a while. Full Art for Asuka. Let's go. Scoos here. Two removal spells is nice. And then this ooze will just start eating up their yard. I'm gonna shock in here because I want this on a red source. Actually, that's better. Um, actually, just kill this. I can play this tapped. Don't have anything going this turn, so. And now, basically, each turn I just kill something, eat it, and then kind of go from there. Oh, the, um, like the Viking art. Okay, we can stop drawing lands. Uh, destroy target creature. Okay, I gotta close the client after this. The game audio is like all screwed up. Sky Clay's super annoying here. It's a card. They gain some life here. So if they don't have a clean answer for Chariot, then I'm in a pretty good spot. It's definitely a Collected Company. Okay, I'm doing that main phase is interesting. Jesus. Is this how the games are gonna go? Just the opponent draws everything. Okay, that's a nice follow-up. Um, I don't really have any, like I can kick this. I kinda wanna do this with more of a board. So I th think here we're just Nah, I should do this. This will force an attack out of them. Ever seen water burn your crew for my So we get rid of that. Because if I draw a line this turn, then I could get them to discard two. Um, okay, so that's whenever you become a target of spell or ability, 
problem is this kind of dwarfs us. So we're probably just doing this. Because I'd have to pay for this anyways. Cloth this is nice. So I can cloth this, get that going. I think I just want to get rid of the cards in their hand this turn. We do have to pay extra. Yeah, those are some good cards to get out. We can probably race them at this point. Um, the Skyclave doesn't uh, get activated. So I'm going to play this out. It's probably Collected Company. The 4-4 four four got hit by the Skyclave though. And then this reduces my power. Um, doesn't matter. We're just doing this. Get through our attackers. If they brought the shield in, then I want to braid. It kind of makes all my uh, cards get taxed a lot higher. Clothis is annoying. Or Skyclave is annoying here. Should be game. This has kept them quite a bit alive. They can go into Coco here. Activated ability is a creature your opponent control. Doesn't matter. We just had Scavenging Ooze as our activated ability. I guess Sirolf. Um, okay, so Skyclave. Probably want these abrades. Um, so Rolf getting hit by the stuff's kind of annoying. Yeah, angels are all over the place. I think we trim a couple Blood Chiefs Thirst for our braids. Uh, it's like four versus. F Just play one a braid, one Chandra. Run it like that. It's actually the Skyclave Apparitions that happen to be really effective against their deck. This is such a trap game though, because like if we lose it, we just get banished to like Shadow Realm. Okay, so tapped, shock in, two removal spells into Chariot. Chariot eventually hopefully copy this. Seems these. Opponent's mulliganing. Ooh. What were they mulliganing to? Doing this so I could get the green source in next turn. Wait to see what they cast.
think this makes them concede. <laughs> but stop, he's already dead. Black here. Let's get the vroom vroom engine going. So I can blow up their land next turn, but I think I'm just going to get Angrath going. Like, they're obviously stumbling. No five, no Are they dead? Oh no, I don't have the green. Damn it. I wanted to blow up their land to make a copy. Do we even move up for that? We hardly moved up. This deck's actually pretty sweet. I think the changes we did were a lot better. May want... The couple inscriptions were good. I may want one of these to be a bedevil. Just having access. We're pretty heavy on threes, but I think that's fine. A lot of ways to kind of gain incidental life. The Clothis edition's nice. The scale up sideboard approach is also nice. Um, yeah, definitely a deck to check out. Um, so two one, two one, oh two. Got some revenge against the angels. Let's see who's online right now. Drop a raid. Yeah, let's drop it off to Scott Howling Mines. He bet us, so. Appreciate everyone stopping by, as always. I'll have these videos up on YouTube if you missed any bit. And uh, if you do have any suggestions, just drop a comment on any of my YouTube videos. Appreciate everyone hanging out. Have yourself a great one, and enjoy Scott.